Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are scrapbooking man crafts a lot. This is Danielle. She is fabulous. Now I went back uh, pretty far on her Instagram to find this uh, layout that she did. I just love the contrast of color with the black and white. Um, so I did go ahead and pull out some things, a couple three by four cards, some die cuts, some stickers, and I'm going to be scrapbooking this one photo and I will trim it down since she has a smaller photo. I'm going to trim this one down too. Um, this is the rose that you received at Be Our Guest Restaurant in Magic Kingdom. Um, so let's see what I can do. All right, so I'm starting out a little unconventional to get my black stripes on this paper. I am using the Easy Squeeze Black Glue from Brutus Monroe. And I decided to use this because it dries quickly. And honestly, I don't have time to mess around with paint or anything like that. So I am using the glue. Now, I do get it all over my craft mat and all over my fingers, but... Um, Fun fact, this stuff washes off with water. So the only thing I did was spray my craft mat down with a little bit of water and the glue came up. Now the rest of the stuff that is on the craft mat, not so much. Now the stripes that I have here are kind of messy and they aren't exactly stripey uh, like they are in Danielle's layout. But you know what? It works for me. Um, my colors are also not as bright or as bold as hers, um, but I think that all in all, it turns out to be a pretty, uh, pretty good scrap lift and a pretty decent layout. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm happy with it. So I am going to start building my cluster. Um, now she does have the smaller photo and, uh, I don't know if that is a card or a piece of paper or what, uh, but she has her title to the side of her photo. So I am uh, going to go ahead and do that. I take these three three by four cards, overlap them with the photo, and go ahead and put them down on this six by six uh, pattern paper. Now, when I pulled this pattern paper out originally, I was going to use the other side, uh, but I just felt like it was a little bit too busy. Uh, for what I had going on. It just it just didn't feel like it was a good enough match. Um, now this second piece of paper I did uh, split apart because it's only a six by six and I needed it to be spread out a little bit further. Um, so I left a gap where I knew I would put something and cover it up. So I do put the doily down over here in the lower left hand corner uh, like it is in the sketch or not the sketch the layout. Now she put her doily underneath of her photo but on top of her layers and I just tucked mine uh, back behind everything. So I use this floral die cut to go ahead and cover up that awkward gap that I have on the papers and I am uh, going to uh, use coordinating die cuts uh, throughout the entire layout. Now, I think Danielle fussy cut some stuff out of here, but you know what, I, like I said, needed to get this layout done, you guys. Um, so I am just going to uh, use these uh, pre-made die cuts. Now they are adhesive backed, but you know what, I don't trust it. Um, I don't trust a whole heck of a lot of adhesives. Um, so I am going to add a little bit more uh, onto the back. Now you can see where I got uh, the black glue on my craft mat. And like I said, that sucker comes off. Um, so now I am just trying to figure out what else to put where. And at first I grab this uh, floral piece over here. And I chose it because it had you know, a good color and I enjoyed it. And then ultimately I decided to take that piece off and I'm going to switch it out. So I have kind of like these softer pinker roses directly around the uh, center of the layout where the photo is. And then I have like the darker flowers on the edge and I purposefully did that. Um, I just felt like that kind of those darker flowers on the edge kind of brought in the layout into the center. Um, and it wasn't just like this expanse of black lines around the place. Now, I know that that probably is a really poor 
like explanation of why I did it, but it makes sense in my head. Like if I was looking at this layout before I put the darker flowers on the two outside edges where they're overlapping the edge of the layout, it just felt like the layout just like whoof went on. And I wish you could see my hand motions and I like threw my head back and everything. Um, but putting those darker flowers on the edge and having them overlap the edge and trimming them off, to me that just kind of like contains it a little bit. Um, and you know, sometimes I want my layouts contained to that space. Um, and sometimes I want you to just like think or feel that it could just go on and on forever. Uh, in this case, didn't want you to feel like it was going on and on forever. Um, I am going to add some of this uh, wood grain washi tape. Um, and I do that because one of my three by four cards does have a wood grain on it. Um, so I want it to bring that in somewhere else than just beside that card. Now it kind of does read as a solid and the washi tape doesn't exactly read as a wood grain, but I know it's there and it makes sense for me. So I am going with it. Now I was kind of disappointed. Um, I bought these Freckled Fawn embellishments and it looks like the top layer of some of them have peeled off, um, which really makes me sad. Um, so it's not going to be something that I could add on to the layout. I am going through my pink paisley. Is that what it is? Is it pink paisley? Pulling it out. Yeah, my pink paisley sticker book. And I'm pulling out the varying uh, hearts in different sizes and shapes. Uh, not shapes. Uh, sizes and colors. So I have like the metallic one and the the uh, pink pink and the pale pink and then like almost the dark mauve pink. And I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle those about uh, so that there are a bunch of hearts around my layout. Now I kind of have four clusters going on here um, but I'm only putting the hearts in three of them. Um, and that's okay. Like, it, not everything has to have a matchy-matchy to it. Um, if you like your layout a certain way, then you do it that way. And I like how this has turned out. Now, I do feel like um, this layout could um, stand some enamel dots or something like that. But um, mm, I'm probably just going to leave it the way it is. I doubt very seriously I'm going to add any... Um, enamel dots to this bad boy. I'm sitting here staring at it and the more I stare at it the more I like it just the way it is so probably not going to add anything. So I am looking for some uh, letters to use. So I am going to um, grab these thickers and they are a dark brown and I just moved down the A Little Magic uh, chipboard piece so that guest will fit a little bit better on uh, this card. So I am going to add B Hour from the Pink Paisley sticker book uh, because this was at the B Hour guest restaurant. Now I've been to Be Our Guest a, a few times now. Um, the very first time was during uh, the new, back when they called it New Fantasyland. Um, the the pass holder preview weekend, um, I went then, um, and then another time, and then this time. And these are like RFID roses so that they know where to bring your food. And um, the rose was different this time than it was before. The other time it was a red one, and this time it was yellow. So <laughs> that is going to do it. Make sure uh, you check out the links down below, and uh, I will see you guys again real soon for another video.